We're going to take some inventory at the All-Star break of the NBA, looking ahead to the rest of the season. DraftKings and other books have adjusted win totals for several teams, and I want to dive into the Lakers right now. So their adjusted win total is 44 and a half. Right now they're 30 and 26, right in the play-in tournament sort of tier. In order to go over, so in order to reach 45 wins, they would have to go 15 and 11 or better the rest of the season. I like the under, and it's plus money. It's plus 105. I counted. I think I only see 13 wins. So, you know, I got a couple to work with, and that's assuming LeBron and AD are healthy. They've been fairly healthy this season. Now, LeBron missed the game going into the All-Star break, did not play much in Sunday's All-Star game because of an ankle injury. I just wonder if AD gets an injury. Now, they're deep. They have some nice depth, which is what happened in Utah. They were able to take care of business without LeBron, but – they're getting people's best shot. Now, they're good. They're good. But 15 and 11 is pretty aggressive. That means they definitely have to take care of their those inferior opponents and then kind of eke out some wins against those, those tough teams that are you know in their division, like the Clippers, like the Warriors. And I just don't know if there's enough wins to go around. So I, I do like the under as I take a look at this. Now, I also want to take a look at the Clippers. So Clippers are a much different situation. Their, their adjusted win total is 55 and a half. Right now, they're 36 and 17. So, in order to hit that 56 mark and go over, they would have to finish 20 and 9. Now, they had a nice comeback against the Warriors going into the All Star break. They have enough depth. So, even if they want to load manage, but I think they're going to be going for that top seed. So, I, I, I leaned to under because I only counted 18 wins. Like, they, like, they've been just on a roll. I just don't know if that's sustainable. So, I'm a little apprehensive about that so I would say mm, be careful just assuming the Clippers are going to be on this ridiculous stretch they were like 23 and 3 or something in January so they've been on just just absolute white hot fire but question is I mean a lot of those like close calls at the end of games went their way and again they could have an injury too right they already lost Zubach for a little bit who's back but what if you know Ka- Kawhi had an injury he, he missed a couple he missed a little bit of time I think an abductor strain against the Warriors so what if some guys are you know banged up or, and along those lines? So I'm I'm a little uneasy going for the over on both LA teams as we take that inventory.